Dear students, we are handling the topic trigonometry. In the trigonometry topic exercise 6E is going on. In previous class, we have discussed 6 sums in page number 282. Let us go to discuss about the 7th sum now. Page number 282, 7th question. If x, comma, y, comma, z are non-zero real numbers, If x, comma, y, comma, z are non-zero real numbers, if x, comma, y, comma, z are non-zero real numbers, If x cos theta, x cos theta is equal to y cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta, y cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta is equal to z cos of 4 pi by 3 plus theta. Theta belongs to real number. Show that x y plus y z plus z x is equal to zero. X y plus y z plus z x is equal to zero. Let here three terms are given in equal manner. Whenever three terms are three positions are equal in the trigonometry then they are said to be they are in the same ratio so whenever they are equal whenever they are equal you can say that they are in proportion if they are in proportion there exists a proportion constant k so let x cos theta everything is same so you can put this is k x cos theta is equal to k and y cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta is equal to k comma z cos of 4 pi by 3 plus theta is also k. So everything k. Now let us discuss about 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z also. So 1 by x can be written as cos theta by k and 1 by y can be written as cos of cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta whole by k. If you are having doubt, simply cross multiply and you can check the answer. 1 by z. 1 by z is equal to cos of 4 pi by 3 plus theta whole by k. Now, <coughs> consider consider the value <coughs> 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. So add all these things. Take 1 by k common. Then you write here cos theta plus cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta plus cos of 4 pi by 3 plus theta. Here we can use two formulae. The formula is that cos 360 minus theta is equal to cos theta. That I am writing as cos 2 pi minus theta is equal to cos theta. That implies cos 4 pi plus theta, 4 pi by 3 plus theta can be converted as cos 2 pi minus half 4 pi by 3 plus theta. Cos 2 pi minus of 4 pi by 3 plus theta. So it is becoming as cos of take LCM here 3 2 are 6 pi. 3 as LCM 6 pi minus 4 pi minus of plus becomes minus theta whole by 3. So that is equal to cos 6 pi minus 2 pi becomes cos of don't take LC here. Like this, simply it is minus theta. 
so it is becoming cos of 2 pi by 3 minus theta that implies the value what we have considered 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z we can get in the form of 1 by k taking common cos theta plus cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta cos of 2 pi by 3 plus theta minus plus we got not plus plus cos of 2 pi by 3 minus theta plus cos of 2 pi by 3 minus theta and second formula today we use cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b this is the form cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b formula 2 cos a into cos b 2 cos a into cos b that implies 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is becoming 1 by k into 2 cos a cos b concept here you can write 2 into cos 2 pi by 3 into cos theta 2 cos a cos b concept 2 into like this cos 2 pi by 3 into cos theta 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 1 by k into that is equal to cos theta plus 2 into this is minus 1 by 2 cos 120 is cos of 90 plus 30 minus cos 30 no 90 plus 30 minus sin 30 becomes minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 into cos theta 2 2 get cancelled this is becoming as 0 because cos theta minus cos theta gives 0 now take LCM for this one x y z is lcm here you can get x y plus y z plus z x x y plus y z plus z x is equal to 0 by cross multiplication you can write directly the answer that x y plus y z plus z x equal to 0 the value we got by cross multiplication x y plus y z plus z x is equal to 0 same question is there in level 3 Third bit, this same question you will face in our objective, level 1 and level 2 are the same question is there. The shortcut is for this question is simply you put theta is equal to 0. Whenever you are putting theta is equal to 0, directly you can substitute x, y plus y, z plus z, x. Then cos theta, so it is becoming cos 0 is 1. So 1 into cos 2 pi by 3, 1 by 2, 1 into minus 1 by 2, plus y into z, this is 2 pi by 3 plus 4 pi by 3, this is 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, this is also minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 4 like this. This is also minus 1 by 4. So total becomes 0. Simply put the shortcut theta is equal to 0. Yes. Now, otherwise it may be 1 minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 like this. 1 minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. Anyhow you will get 0 by putting theta is equal to 0 shortcut. Right, next question. By using component and dividend concept. Neither are nor multiple of pi by 2. Condition I am not writing, you know, simply question I am writing students. M sin b is equal to m sin 2a plus b. Given m into sin a m into sin a sin not sin a sin b m into sin b m into sin b is equal to m into sin of 2a plus b m into sin of 2a plus b then prove that prove that m plus m into tan a m plus n into tan a is equal to m minus n into tan of a plus b m minus n into tan of a plus b given value you write as m by n is equal 
साइन ऑफ टू ए प्लस बी बाय साइन बी साइन ऑफ टू ए प्लस बी बाय साइन बी वाइल डिस्कसिंग एग्जांपल लेवल एलएनडी सम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड यूजिंग द कांसेप्ट ऑफ कंपोनेंट एंड डिविडेंड ऑफ व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कंपोनेंट एंड डिविडेंड ऑफ न्यूमरेटर बाय डिनोमिनेटर इज इक्वल टू न्यूमरेटर बाय डिनोमिनेटर then you can say numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator is equal to numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator i said the formula as if a by b is equal to c by d then a plus b by a minus b is equal to c plus d by c minus d using component and dividend this question and the next question also same concept using component comma dividend Here component of in numerator plus denominator for both values. So m plus l by numerator minus denominator. So m minus l is equal to here also sin 2a plus b. Sin 2a plus b plus sin b. Sin 2a plus b plus sin b by sin of 2a plus b. Minus sin b. That implies m plus n by m minus n is equal to numerator in the form of sin c plus sin d and denominator in the form of sin c minus sin d. Remember the formula of sin c plus sin d is two sin c plus d by two cos c minus d by two. So right here two sin c plus d by two. So two sin of B plus B here. Two sine of two A plus B plus B becomes two B by two into cos of A minus C minus D. So two A plus B minus B whole by two. whole by sine C minus sine D concept. Two cos of C plus D by two. Two cos of two A plus B plus B by two into sine of Two a plus b minus b by two. Here, that implies m plus n by m minus n. M plus n by m minus n is equal to here two and two get cancelled. You can write this one as a sine of a plus b because this two get cancelled by taking common. Here b b got cancelled. Two a by two becomes cos a whole by In the similar way, you can write here. This is also cos of a plus b. Cos of a plus b into this is sin a. B b get cancelled. M plus n by m minus n becomes sin by cos becoming tan. Tan of a plus b. Why? You can write sin a by cos a by sin a becomes cot a. If sin a taken under, you can write here tan a by taking cross multiplication. You can write here this is m plus n into tan a. M plus n into tan a is equal to m minus n into tan of a plus b. So many sums like this model you can do using component and dividend. Next, last question of this exercise. That is also same concept. लैमडा प्लस वन इंटू साइन टू बी इज इक्वल टू लैमडा माइनस वन इंटू 
साइन टू ए गिवन टेन ऑफ ए माइनस बी बाई लाइक दिस ये बाई टेन ऑफ ए माइनस बी बाई टेन ऑफ ए प्लस बी नॉट लाइक दिस दिस इज ए प्लस बी दिस इज लाइक दिस बिकॉज़ बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन यू शुड गेट दैट टेन ऑफ ए प्लस बी बाई टेन ऑफ ए माइनस बी बाई लेम डा बाई बाई नाउ यूजिंग कंपोनेंटो एंड डिविडेंडो using component of comma dividend of that implies tan of a plus b plus tan of a minus b whole by tan of a plus b minus tan of a minus b is equal to lambda plus 1 by lambda minus 1 We should prove in terms of sine, not in terms of tan. So we have to convert the tan value into sine of cos. That you know that tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta. For every value, you write the terms in terms of sine by cos. So take tan of a plus b as sine of a plus b by cos of a plus b. Sine of a plus b by cos of a plus b plus here also we write the same model. Sin of a minus b by cos of a minus b. Whole by sin of a plus b. Sin of a plus b by cos of a plus b. Minus sin of a minus b by cos of a minus b. Is equal to lambda plus one by lambda minus one. For numerator and denominator, also take and see them in proper way. Here, sine of a plus b, sine of a plus b into cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b into sine of a minus b, whole by The LCM is cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b. Cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b. Whole by take LCM here also. Sine of a plus b into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b into sine of a minus b. Whole by write the LCM part here cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b is equal to the value you should write here as lambda plus one by lambda minus one here denominator terms will be getting cancelled cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b get cancelled. The another side here, sine a cos b plus cos a sine b concept in numerator, and sine a cos b minus cos a sine b concept in denominator. That implies here sine a cos b plus cos a sine b formula sine of a plus b. So write as sine of a plus b plus a minus b, a plus b plus a minus b whole by denominator formula. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So sin of a plus b minus a plus b. That is equal to lambda plus one by lambda minus one. Numerator not b b and minus b get cancelled. In denominator a and minus c get cancelled. So here numerator becoming a sin to a and denominator becoming sin to b. That is equal to lambda plus one by lambda minus one by taking cross multiplication. Whatever the answer we ask, we are getting the answer now. Lambda plus one into sine two b. Lambda plus one into sine two b is equal to lambda minus one into sine two b. These are the answers. 
we have successfully completed exercise 6e now we should enter into main seven marks question topic whatever the model is there in this chapter two marks four marks seven marks with the two plus four plus seven ip weightage seven mark exactly you will get the seven mark question exercise 6e itself so now we are entering into somewhat hard topic i should not consider i should not teach such model through online every student has to present but now according to your situation nobody is coming to classes that is why there is no alternate so i should teach through online only right understand each and every formula if you know formula then only you can understand each and every class now whatever the sum i am going to discuss with you it is the most 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 i can be of course not for exam it is a big concept and in maybe four times you will face the same question most iip concept for ip and object to everything that is the main question page number 263 6.4.6 page number 283 6.4.6 are the problems page 283 solve problem 6.4.6 students he given three or four types of conditions he used to give hereafter if he give or if he mentioned if a b c are angles of triangle you should not you should understand that a plus b plus c is equal to 180 because sum of angles in any triangle is equal to 180 if he gives a plus b plus c equal to 3 by 3 pi by 2 you should understand a plus b plus c is equal to 270 degrees like that unless otherwise he given we should consider the angles a b c are the angles of triangle because we are handling The chapter itself is trigonometry. If a plus b plus c is equal to yes, if a plus b plus c is equal to ninety degrees, if a plus b plus c is equal to two seventy, or if a plus b plus c is equal to forty five, like that, if he mentioned, you should follow according to the question. If he is not mentioning, unless otherwise he is mentioning the topic, you should understand that a plus b plus c is equal to one eighty. Whatever the properties are regarding trigonometry, regarding triangle, you should apply each and every formula. Now let us go into discuss about the First question: If A, B, C are given the condition, if A, B, C are angles of triangle, given, if capital letters A, B, C are, if A, B, C are angles of triangle, if A, B, C are angles of triangle, first one, two sums are there. Among first question, two sums are there. First one, sine two a plus sine two b plus sine two c. Sine two a plus sine two b plus sine two c is equal to four sine a sine b sine c. Four sine a sine b sine c. This is in your first year intermediate mathematics one year life. You will face the same question minimum six times. So most IMP concept you should buy hard the value. You should remember the value as a formula of this question. Sine two a plus sine two plus sine two c. Now taking an example, sine two a plus sine two b plus sine two c. Taking an example, sine two a plus sine two b plus sine two c. Now I am making you to remember the formula of sine c plus sine b. Of course, you know you should know you should remember the formula two sine c plus d by two into cos c minus d by two. Two sine c plus d by two into cos c minus d by two. That is that is equal to. For these two terms, you write you apply the formula two sine c plus d by two meaning. 
Here two sin of two a plus two b by two into cos c minus b by two concept here two a minus two b by two plus everyone know the formula sin two c is two sin c cos c. I said that two sin two a is equal to sin a cos a or sin two theta is equal to sin theta cos theta. Whether it is sin two a you should write two sin a cos a. Whether it is sin two b you should write two sin two two sin b cos b. Whether it is sin two c two sin c cos c. Of course, for this, so if you not, if you are not applying this, the properties of if sine square sine theta formula, you will not get the proper answer. That is why for first two tests you have applied this one, and for third one you have applied the formula. For this, this one separately you can write, but this one also you can take students. Any two tests you should write the formula concept. Now write like this: two sine of a plus b because two have taken common and got cancelled into the denominator. Two sine of a plus b into cos of a minus b plus here two sine c cos c. Now you can understand here two sine of 180 minus c because whenever he mentioned the angle a b c are angles of triangle, you should learn you should know that a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees. So in the terms of a plus b, you write you should write cos of Sin of 180 minus c into cos of a minus b plus 2 sin c cos plus 2 sin c cos that is equal to now we know that the sin 180 minus theta becomes sin theta so 2 sin c you write 2 sin c into this is cos of a minus b plus 2 sin c into cos c. That is equal to now you take two sine c as common within the brackets. Write like this: cos of a minus b plus cos c. That is equal to two sine c into cos of a minus b plus cos of. Now instead of c, you can write using this one 180 minus of a plus b. This is the main step. 180 minus of a plus b that is equal to 2 sin c into cos of a minus b. Students, so cos 180 minus theta becomes minus cos. Cos 180 minus theta becomes minus cos theta. So write like this: This is cos of minus cos of a plus b. For a transformation so formula, we have learnt the fifth formula as cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b gives two sin a sin b. The formula two sin a sin b is there. There four multiply here. Four sin a two two is a four four sin a sin b sin c. Therefore, conclusion I am writing. The question. You write like this: sine to a plus sine to b plus sine to c is equal to sine to a plus sine to b plus sine to c is equal to four sine a sine b. Everyone after this sum, simply you put your signature and write the date because that is most IMP question. Twelve. What is the date today? Twelfth October. Twelve to ten to two thousand twenty. Write this. You put the date. Whenever you are facing the question, I used to say that students already we put the sign and date. The question now we face you know like that. I used to say the question. So simply put your sign and date. Usually I used to say the question on twelve or seven. It is twelve or seven. But I got into a pandemic situation three months late. Twelve or seven. Okay, now let us start second question. This is the same concept. Second question: Sine to a plus sine to b minus sine to c. Sine to a plus sine to b minus sine to c. 
sin 2a plus sin 2b minus sin 2c equal to 4 cos a cos b sin c. 4 cos a cos b sin c. 4 cos a cos b sin c. Take L hypothesis. Sin 2a plus sin 2b minus sin 2c. Sin 2a plus sin 2b minus sin 2c. Take the two terms here in the old model. Apply the formula sin c plus sin d to sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. 2 sin 2a plus 2b by 2 into cos of 2a minus 2b by 2. Cos of 2a minus 2b by 2. Of course, this is the formula minus 2 sin c cos c. Minus 2 sin c cos c. That is equal to 2 sin of 2a taken comma and dot cancel. 2 sin of a plus b you write. And here cos of a minus b. Cos of a minus b minus 2 sin c cos c. That is equal to 2 sin of instead of a plus b. Apply here 180 minus c into this is cos a minus b minus this is 2 sin c cos c that is equal to we know that sin 180 minus theta becomes sin theta so 2 sin c into cos of a minus b minus this is also 2 sin c into this is cos c that is equal to now you can take common 2 sin c of course this is the same model of our previous sum cos of a minus b minus cos c that is equal to 2 sin c into cos of a minus b cos of a minus b minus cos of this c can be understood as 180 minus of a plus b that is equal to 2 sin c into cos of a minus b minus originally cos 180 minus theta becomes minus cos theta in general minus is there so that minus sign minus becomes plus here this becomes cos of a plus b we know the formula cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b is 2 cos a cos b I said all formulae before going to discuss the topics in C and in previous day, one day simply we selected each and every formula, I, select, I said every formula in a day we have selected regarding these transformations of formula and everything. Apply now, multiply in proper way, 4 cos a cos b sin c. 4 cos a cos b sin c, this is R. Now, second model, second model question, page number 284. If A, B, C are angles of triangle, prove that, prove that first one. Cos to A plus cos to B plus cos to cos to a plus cos to b plus cos to b equal to minus 4 cos a cos b cos c minus 4 cos a cos b cos c minus 1 and second question also I am writing here only cos to a cos to a plus cos to b minus cos to c is equal to 1 minus 
4 sin a sin b sin c. 1 minus 4 sin a sin b sin c. Now, let us write first question LHS. First question LHS cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2 cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2 First, take these two terms and remember the formula cos c plus cos b. Cos c plus cos b. Cos c plus cos b is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2. And here, is mentioning minus one is there. Two types of formula we are having for cos two theta. First one, one minus two sin square theta, and a second one, two cos square theta minus one. Here he mentioned a plus, and right hand side he given as minus. So you need to remember the formula. You need to apply the formula cos two c is equal to two cos square c minus one. Here minus one is there. You will get minus. Now. That is equal to that implies applying to the formula. 2 cos 2a plus cos 2b. Instead of 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2, apply like this. 2 cos of 2a plus 2b by 2. 2 cos of 2a plus 2b by 2 into cos of 2a minus 2b by 2. Plus, plus 2 cos square c minus 1. Plus 2 cos square c minus 1 is there. That is equal to 2 cos of taken 2 common, you can write a plus b. 2 cos of a plus b. 2 cos of a plus b into here, this is cos of a minus b. Plus 2 cos square c minus 1. 2 cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b plus 2 cos square c minus 1. That is equal to, he mentioned that A, B, C are angles of a triangle. So, we know that A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. So, 2 cos of 180 minus C. Did, girl, did you do this? First question you do in exercise. In exercise, first to do you try yourself. Exercise 6F, page number 280 is there. First common, first two questions, do now. If you complete this terms, okay, 2 cos of 180 minus c into cos of a minus b plus 2 cos of square c minus 1. That is equal to, we know that cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So, apply here, this is minus 2 cos c into cos of a minus b plus 2 cos of square c minus 1. That is equal to, now, Take common minus 2 cos c in this term and in this term. 2 minus 2 cos c I have taken common within the brackets you can write cos of a minus b. In the term of plus I have taken minus common. So write here minus cos c minus 1 that is equal to that is equal to from here I am writing minus 2 cos c into cos of a minus b minus cos of in terms of c you apply 180 minus of a plus b like this that minus 1 that is equal to minus 2 cos c into cos of a minus b here cos 180 minus theta becomes minus cos theta of course here minus is there minus and minus becomes plus so apply here cos of a plus b and separate minus 1. That is equal to minus 2 cos c into students you should know the formula cos a plus b plus cos a minus b becomes 2 cos a cos b. 2 cos a cos b minus 1. That is equal to now to those are 4. In the order you write 4 cos a cos b cos c minus 1. This is the RHS. Minus 4 cos a cos b cos c minus 1 is the RHS for this sum. Now let us discuss second sum.
सेकेंड सम एल एच एस कास्ट टू ए प्लस कास्ट टू बी प्लस कास्ट टू सी सेकेंड सम एल एच एस कास्ट टू ए प्लस कास्ट टू बी प्लस कास्ट टू सी इस मेंशनिंग वन माइनस फोर साइन एस एन बी साइन सी वन प्लस बी गिवन सो टेक द टू टर्म्स इन द प्रीवियस मॉडल यू कैन राइट डायरेक्टली टू कास्ट सी प्लस डी बी टू कास्ट सी माइनस डी बी टू कांस Two cos of two a plus two b by two into cos of two a minus two b by two. Cos of two a minus two b by two minus. Apply the formula two cos square c minus one. Minus and minus becomes plus one here. That is why I am discussing with you that apply the formula. If a minus one is given here, then you should apply the formula one minus two sin square c. That is equal to. Two cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b minus two cos square c minus half minus becomes plus one. Now apply here two cos one eighty minus c into cos of a minus b minus two cos square c plus one. First you write, you take carbon like this, minus two. This is becoming cos one eighty minus theta minus cos theta minus two cos c into cos of a minus b minus this is two cos square c plus one minus two cos square c plus one. That is equal to now in the terms you take carbon minus two cos c. Minus two cos c, you can take common. Within the brackets, cos a minus b, cos a minus b. Whenever minus you have taken within bracket, it is cos of a plus b plus one is there. So this is minus two cos c into two cos c plus d by two cos c minus d by two cos one eighty minus c becomes minus two cos c. If we take simply two cos c, he is mentioning one minus four is one minus four sin a sin b sin c cos two a plus cos two b minus cos two c one minus four sin a sin b sin c. Two cos a plus b, cos a minus b minus two cos square c plus one. This is minus two cos c, cos of a minus b minus two cos c taken common. Okay, let us take common directly. Don't write minus two cos c has taken common. Now apply like this. Minus two cos c taken common, cos of a minus b. It becomes here simply cos c plus one separately. Now that is equal to. Minus two cos c into again we can convert here. This cos c can be converted as this is cos c. This cos c can be converted as cos of one eighty minus of a plus b. And again it is plus one. That is equal to minus two cos c into. Cos of a minus b. This is cos 180 minus theta becomes minus cos theta. So it is minus cos of a plus b plus one. That is equal to minus two cos into. Students, you should remember the formula. Cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b becomes two sin a sin b plus one. That is equal to first. Plus one, you write here one minus. In order, you write after multiplication here one minus four into sine a into sine b into cos c. One minus four a sine a sine b cos c. In this class, we have completed the transformation sums regarding a b concept.
in next class we can discuss the multiple multiple concepts are completed tomorrow we can discuss the sub multiple concept that is a by 2 model let us go in the going to discuss the class regarding a by 2 model next class